So how has life changed for you on a day-to-day -day basis? Miss USA, <laughs> what's different? My whole life is different. <laughs> I, I, you know, became a celebrity overnight per se and you know I have a lot more followers I have a lot more of engagement and people that are, are watching my every move and and I absolutely love it but at times it can be a bit difficult so it's been different but it's been so much fun at the same time and being able to interact and and have all these virtual appearances on zoom working with different organizations and, and different um, partnerships and charities has been so much fun you say you're a celebrity and you are a bona fide celebrity, but how have you had to adjust, you know, um, or not, who you are with this newfound voice and platform? How is Asia and this USA different to just Asia? I don't know that there is much difference between me as Asia and me as Miss USA. I've always just been on the authentic authentically myself. That would not come out. Um, yeah, so I've always just been authentically myself and I realize now that my voice does have a broader reach and I am able to make a larger impact, which is just a bonus on top of being myself. And what sorts of things are you focused on with your voice and your platform? I focus really on criminal justice reform, prison reform, and so finding different organizations to partner with and to continue my advocacy and raising that awareness worldwide and just, just really making an impact. I hope to continue doing that even after my reign. What are some of the fun parts of being Miss USA? I mean, it's obviously a lot of hard work, but you know, there's obviously quite a bit of fun you can have with this newfound you know, fame. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of fun. One of my favorite parts are the photo shoots, though. I absolutely love it. Having the different styles, the different makeup, different hairstyles is just so much fun, and you can't beat it. Now, you won Miss USA, which was a huge deal, but here we are at Miss Universe. That's a, like a huge deal. How is that difference between Miss USA and now the world, Miss Universe? It took me so long to wrap my mind around the difference in Miss USA and Miss Universe, the levels there, but now that I'm finally here, I'm really soaking it in. It's truly an honor. I'm so blessed to be here and to be able to represent the United States of America at Miss Universe, but it is a much greater scale, larger audience, and um, it can be a bit intimidating at times, but you know, you power through it, you put a smile on your face, and you just make the best of the experience and um, every, all the opportunities you're given. How are you managing that sort of increased sort of um, scrutiny as it were, or um, there's fans out there who are going crazy every night, how do you sort of take that in and sort of, you know, use that to sort of power you forward, how does that, you know, what does that intimidate? <laughs> the craziness, the chaos doesn't intimidate me. It actually kind of pushes me. It motivates me. It shows me that there are people out there supporting me. There are people that want to see me do well, and so that pushes me to make them proud. I imagine with Miss USA, you know, you built some friendships and bonds with the girls. Are you finding the same thing with, you know, so many girls from so many different countries, different languages, different cultures, different values, maybe or not? How have you found, you know, building friendships um, with the Miss USA folks? I built a lot of friendships at Miss USA and I've been doing just that here at Miss Universe as well. It's been amazing to meet the girls from all over the world and, and to understand their cultures and their languages better. It truly is a beautiful thing and it's amazing that we're all able to be here together and so I will leave here with a number of new friends as well. And have you found that having those friendships, there's learning and there's things that you've sort of opened up to or not really sort of considered before in terms of your, you know, interaction with girls here? Absolutely. I have, my mind has been open to so many different things and so many cultures and I have a better understanding of the world out there that I haven't yet experienced for myself. I'm able to experience that through the contestants and so it has been a beautiful thing and I'm excited to continue learning more and I've already learned so much. Now, when we're allowed to travel, given that you've made some friendships here, what's the first country you're going to? That's hard. I have an entire list of countries that I want to go to when I leave here, but definitely on the top are Curacao in Australia, just because <laughs> I one I've always wanted to go to Australia. I want to go to a kangaroo sanctuary, um, <laughs> and I want to go to Curacao and visit my roommate and go horseback riding. So I have all these things planned out that hopefully I will get to do as soon as the world is opened back up.
Now, switching a little bit to the business at hand. Here we are, Miss Universe. You're Miss USA competing in Miss Universe. Oh, this is a serious business. Yeah. <laughs> How have you found this week? I mean, obviously, a lot of hard work and a lot goes into it. How, you know, very intensive with all of the COVID requirements. How are you holding up this week in the Miss Universe competition? Well, I think my grateful heart has made it really easy for me to hold up here because I'm just grateful that we're able to have the competition, that we're all able to be here and we're here safe, we're COVID free. And it's just, it's it's been it's been great. You know, it's been different. And so, you know, you do have to take those differences into consideration. It's not like competition in years past, but at the same time, it's as close to it as it can be given the circumstances. And so I've just been powering through each day, looking forward to rehearsals, looking forward to interacting with the ladies and just making the most of the experience overall. Are you finding a different run-up to Miss Universe versus sort of Miss USA? Is it a similar process or is this sort of more intense? It's sort of a bigger thing. Are you more nervous right this process has been very similar to Miss USA, which has been great. And I think it's all flowing very smoothly. It went very well at Miss USA, so hopefully we'll have the same turnout here at Miss Universe. Um, what was the second part of your question? Is it more intense? Intense. As far as the processing yeah, goes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I feel like they're around the same realm. I feel obviously Miss Universe is more intense with everything. So maybe a little bit, but there's not just a huge difference in my opinion. Yeah, great. Um, if you could say something to all of your supporters, and you have supporters all over the country, and in uh, Thailand and the Philippines, and <laughs> some of those places as well, they love you. What, would you, what message would you send to your supporters if you're going into Miss Universe? I would, to my supporters, I would just say thank you. I appreciate the love and support. You know, it pushes me each and every day to make every one of you proud, and I hope that I'm able to share my heart on stage and make everyone happy, proud. <laughs> Win or lose on Sunday, what do you take out of this universe next week? Win or lose, how do you feel? What, what sort of you know, uh, growth or learning or you know, appreciation do you have coming out of this future? Coming out of Miss Universe, win or lose, I know that I will leave a better person. I've worked so hard to get here, and I've grown as an individual throughout this entire process. And so win or lose, I'm a better version of myself at the end of the day, and that is something to be extremely proud of.